Mindanao, North, South, East, and West. My name is Elijah Hill Cacho, your newscaster for today. But before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. For the headlines, weather forecast, southwest monsoon affecting Luzon. Meanwhile, at 3 a.m. today, the low pressure area or the LPA was estimated based on all available data at 1,155 kilometers east northwest extreme nor northern Luzon at 24.0 degrees north to 132.5 east degrees east. Local news. SSS vows to provide social security protection to barangay officials. De La Rosa urged PBBM to end KOJC standoff. PNP's KOJC operation continued despite Senate's pressure. Remembering JP Sinyal, award-winning journalist and advocate passes away. National News Kibuloy and the four others surrender after 24 hours ultimatum. Cebu City honors Sergeyo Osmeña seniors at 146th birthday anniversary. International news. Outgunned and outnumbered, Ukraine's military is struggling with low morale and desertion. Trump warms up for debate by threatening to jail election officials. Entertainment News Kendrick Lamar to headline 2025 Super Bowl halftime show. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey serve couple goals at the U.S. Open Final. Sports News Miami-Dade police officer placed on administrative duty after Dolphins star Tyreek Hill detained before game. Re-entering the pool caused flashbacks to shark attack in which she lost her leg. Now this swimmer has two Paralympic medals. Featured Stories Philippine Mango the tropical treasure praised as the best fruit in the country. Georgia's top fruit, the juicy sweet peach. Trivia Did you know that kulintang is the Philippines' most popular instrument? Southwest monsoon affecting Luzon Meanwhile, at 3 a.m. today, low pressure area or LPA was estimated based on all available data at 1,155 kilometers east, northeast of extreme northern Luzon at 24.0 degrees north to 132.5 degrees east. The Ilocos region, Apayao, and Abra will experience occasional rains due to the southwest monsoon with potential flooding or landslides from moderate to heavy rains, Cagayan Valley, Central Luzon, and the rest of the Cordillera administrative region can expect cloudy skies with scattered rain and thunderstorms. Also from the southwest monsoon with similar risk of flooding or landslides, Metro Manila, Calabarzon, Memaropa, and the Bicol region will have partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers or thunderstorms. With flush floods or landslide possible during severe, severe thunderstorms, the rest of the country may also experience localized thunderstorms with similar risk. <music> the 
local news. SSS vows to provide social security protection to barangay officials. SSS President and CEO Ronaldo Magasait advocate for the SSS membership of barangay captains and kagawads during the, the Liga ng mga Barangay National Congress on August 13, emphasizing the benefits of lifetime pension and additional social security coverage. Maska Saet encourage Barangay officials to secure an SSS number and make the least 120 contribu contribution to qualify for a pension. He highlighted other benefits including sickness, maternity, and funeral coverage. House Speaker Ferdinand Romualdez is supporting a Magna Carta to fund these contributions. And SSS has enhanced access accessibility by setting up both and providing online services at the Congress. De La Rosa urges PBBM to end KOJC standoff. Senator Ronald Bato de la Rosa has urged President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. to address the ongoing police operations at the Kingdom of Jesus Christ or the KOJC compound in Davao City. Citing concerns over welfare of both KOJC members and the police involved, who are reportedly facing severe conditions, de la Rosa emphasized the need for humane treatment and questioned the extended duration of the operation without clear results. Senators Christopher Go and Robin Padilla also called for an end to the standoff, emphasizing peace, respect, and human rights, and adherence to the separation of church and state. The Senate Justice and the Human Rights Sub committee is investigating the situation following allegations of rights violation and extensive police operations. PNP's KOJC operations continue despite Senate's pressure. Following an eight-hour public hearing, the Philippine National Police or the PNP confirmed that their operations their operations at the Kingdom of Jesus Christ compound will continue despite pressure from Senators Ronald De La Rosa, Christopher Go, and Robin Padilla. Brigadier General Nicholas Torre III emphasized the mission to arrest Pastor Apollo Kibuloy, stating the PNP will not halt operation based on dispute findings. KOJC representatives challenged the PNP's use of a proton elect device to detect tunnels, which the police claim yielded negative results. Torre affirmed that the PNP will proceed with its strategy warning of arrests for any obstruction and assured that the senator's concern will be considered. Remembering JP Signal, award-winning journalist and advocate passes away. Award-winning journalist John Paul Signel, known for its impactful work in media, passed away on September 8, 2024, while teaching journalism. His daughter, Lynn Jan Zephaniah Era Signel, confirmed the news via Facebook, expressing shock and gratitude for the outpouring of support. Signel a former GMA Davao journalist and the host of documentaries like Latos and Amuma. Hands for Nobody was honored for his advocacy of peace and indigenous people's rights, receiving the title Dato Salimbungan, Matig Salug, and the Ata Tribes. His wake is open to the public at St. Peter Chapel in Panakan. The cause of death remains undisclosed. National News Kibuloy and four other members surrendered 
after 24 hours ultimatum. Pastor Apollo Kiboloy, leader of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ, and four other KOJC leaders surrendered to authorities on Sunday afternoon. September 8, 2024, after being given a 24-hour ultimatum, the surrender took place at the KOJC compound in Davao City following a joint effort by the Philippine National Police and the Armed Forces of the Philippines. Kibuloy, who faces charges of human trafficking and child and sexual abuse, was transported to Camp Krame for booking and will be presented in Quezon City and Pasig Courts. His legal counsel cited the desire to prevent further violence at the compound as the reason for his surrender. Cebu City honors Sergio Osmeña Seniors at 146th birth anniversary. Cebu City commemorated the 146th birth anniversary of Sergio Osmeña Sr. on September 9, 2024 with a wreath laying ceremony at the Osmeña birthplace maker. Acting Vice President Donaldo Osteveros praised Osmeña's leadership, emphasizing sacrifice and the common good over power. Jose Antonio Osmeña, a great-grandson of the late president, note, noted that while his grandfather would place by the tribute, he might be concerned about ongoing challenges and the need for unity. The ceremony was attended by Honteveros, the Osmeña clan, and Cebu City councillors Pangracillo Espares and Renato Osmeña Jr. International News Outgunned and outnumbered, Ukraine's military is struggling with low morale and desertion. Dima, a former battalion commander on Ukraine's front lines, now works in an office in Kiev, unable to bear the sight of his men dying. He led around 800 soldiers through some of his fiercest battle, including near Pokrovs, which is close to failing to Russia. After witnessing many of his troops killed or injured, Dima quit his combat rule and took a desk job. The prolonged Russian offensive has severely depleted Ukraine's unit. With few reinforcements and racing desertion and insubordination particularly among new recruits, according to six commanders and of officers interviewed by CNN. Trump warms up for debate by threatening to jail election officials. Donald Trump, preparing for his debate with Kamala Harris, has made extreme statements such as threatening to jail election officials and poor, poor pardoning January 6th Rioters. Pulse shows a tight race, indicating Harris' boost for replacing Biden hasn't secured a strong lead. The Philadelphia debate is crucial, with Harris preparing in Pittsburgh, focusing on managing debate rules and Trump's disruptive style. <laughs> Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg noted Harris needs exceptional focus to control to counter Trump's theatrical approach. A recent poll shows 28% of voters wants to know more about Harris, highlighting her need to clarify policies and strengthen her debate performance. Entertainment News Kendrick Lamar to headline 2025 Super Bowl Halftime Show Pulitzer Prize winning 
Rapper Kendrick Lamar will headline the Super Bowl LIX halftime show on February 9, 2025. In New York, New Orleans. In New Orleans, announced by the NFL, Rock Nation, and Apple Music, Lamar's performance will be his first and solo headliner following his 2022 appearance with Eminem and the other. Jay-Z praised Lamar as a once-in-a-generation artist, emphasizing his culture, cultural impact. Lamar, known for his Gram Grammy winnings and Pulitzer Prize for them, released his latest album, Mr. Moral and the Big Steppers, in 2022. The Big Steppers in 2022. Last year's halftime show by Usher was the most watched, followed by Rihanna's in 2023. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey serve couple. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey serve couple goals at the U.S. Open final. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey made a stylish appearance at the U.S. Open men's single final on Sunday where Italy's Janik Sinner de defeated American Taylor Fitz. The couple who walked hand in hand into Arthur Ashe Stadium drew attention with Swift in a red gingham sundress and Kelsey in a white Gucci bucket hat. Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes and his wife Brittany joined them later. The event also featured celebrities like Matthew McConaughey, John Bon Jovi, and Rebel Wilson. Sports News Miami-Dade police officer placed on administrative duty after Dolphin star Tyreek Hill detained before game. Tyreek Hill was briefly detained by Miami-Dade police before a Miami Dolphins season opening game on Sunday. The incident, which occurred hours before kickoff, led to one officer being placed on administrative leave as the Miami-Dade Police Department initiated an internal affairs investigation. Hill, who was handcuffed and later released, ended the day on a high note with a key touchdown celebration re referencing his earlier encounter. Despite the pre-game ordeal, ordeal Hill, shone, Hill shone on the field, catching seven passes for 130 yards and a touchdown in the Dolphins 27 by 17 comeback win against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Re-entering the pool caused flashbacks to shark attack in which the lost her leg. She lost her leg. Now this swimmer has two Paralympic medals. American swimmer Ali Truvit faced immense emotional and physical challenges when she returned to the pool after losing her legs in a shark attack. The sound of water initially triggered traumatic flashbacks and caused physical discomfort due to her new amputation. However, she almost experienced moments of peace and joy, rekindling her love for swimming. Just 16 months after the attack, Truwit achieve remarkable success, winning two Paralympic silver medals in Paris in the women's one season 10 for 400 meters freestyle and 100 and meters backstroke. Her journey from the trauma is triumph highlights her resilience and the support she received throughout her recovery. Featured Stories Philippine Mango 
the tropical treasure praised as the best fruit in the country. The mango is widely considered the best fruit in the Philippines. We own for its extraordinary sweetness, juiciness, and vibrant golden hue. Known for its king of fruits, Philippine mangoes are particularly celebrated for their rich flavor and smooth texture. The mangoes from Cebu are highly, highly prized and often regarded as some of the best in the world. The tropical fruit is enjoyed in a various forms, from fresh slices to smoothest and the smoothies and desserts. Its versatility and distinctive taste make it a beloved choice of local and visitors alike, embodying the tropical essence of the Philippines. Georgia's top fruit, the juicy sweet peach. In Georgia, the peach reigns supreme as the state's most beloved fruit, earning its title as the peach state. Known for its succulent sweetness and juicy flesh, Georgia peaches are a summertime favorite. They boost a fragrant aroma and a perfect balance of sweetness and tartness making them ideal for eating flesh, fresh, baking in pies or enjoying in preserves. In the warm climate and fertile soil of Georgia contribute to the exceptional quality of its peaches celebrated in festivals and enjoyed across the nation. Georgia peaches symbolizes the region's rich agricultural, uh, agricultural heritage and commitment to quality fruit production. <music> Trivia Did you know that the kulintang in the Philippines is the most popular instrument? The kulintang is the traditional Filipino musical instrument made of a series of gratitude, series of graduated bronze gongs arranged in a row. Originating from the southern Philippines, particularly among the Maranao and Maguindanao people, this instrument is central to the cultural heritage of the Mindanao region. It's played by striking the gongs with mallets and is often featured in communal and ceremonial music, reflecting the rich traditions and art, artist, artistry of Filipino music. The Colintang's unique sound and intricate melodies highlights its role in the Philippines' diverse musical landscape. That is all for our news today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Once again, my name is Elijah Hilcacho. Good morning, Davao.